talk about the events that we have seen this week, two days ago. Um, the opposition uh, united under one front, uh, so the so-called National Super Alliance, and they also made the, met their aspirants and delegates in Bomas of Kenya. Today, the meeting in Jubilee. What exactly does this mean? And speaking to us now from our city centre studio is uh, our, pol our political analyst, Dan Stanomari. Good afternoon. What exactly does these two functions, the one for NASA uh, two days ago and today's uh, Jubilee function at the Kasarani Gymnasium mean for both sides? Uh, the mobilization that we saw yesterday at Bomas and today, uh, the other day at Bomas and today at uh, Kasarani is purely the political heavyweights roping in and locking in aspirants into their mainstream political parties. The reality will down when most of those people will not be given the tickets either for COD or for NASA or for Jubilee, and very many of them will bolt out. But the most important element that is going on, what we are seeing is that the major political parties are trying to lock in people so that they have nowhere to escape to. Uh, the question that is being decided at these yeah. two uh, fora is mm -hmm. about uh, the presidential elections. Mm -hmm. The questions about governors and other legislative issues will be dealt out when nomination is over. For no. now, it is Jubilee has their person known. Mm -hmm. The opposition, NASA, has not come out clearly who their person is. Jubilee, when you here they are trying to jibe uh, the, the NASA that give us your candidate, you yeah. fail to give us your candidate. Mm -hmm. And NASA seems to be either cleverly trying to avoid uh, naming their candidate now mm -hmm. and also either trying to hoodwink Jubilee to focus their guns elsewhere. Remember Kenyans that the, as from Monday, mass voter registration is starting. Yes, Therefore, this is the time that the political class is trying to lobby everybody mm. to have tyranny of voters within their areas where All they right. have a lot of influence. Dustin, definitely if there's one thing that's clear is that the nomination exercise is going to be a major headache uh, for both sides. The Jubilee fat, uh, Party has a lot of people under it after most uh, small parties converged into one. Do you think this, uh, the launch of this smart card is going to make it is your business for nomination, especially for the Jubilee Party? I dismiss that approach because that approach will not work. Let me tell you, all the people who are at Kasarani today who are aspirants, whether they get the Jubilee ticket or not, they will be in the ballot. Most of those candidates and aspirants who are there already are members of other political parties, either registered last week or the other week, so that they have been there. So there's a lot of dishonesty in all those aspirants you saw at Bomas mm -hmm. and the aspirants you saw at uh, Kasarani. That's why I said those uh, public uh, shows are only aimed at assisting Uhuru Kenyatta and the candidate for the opposition. Mm -hmm. In terms of the aspirants, there is none of them that is going to succeed. Mm -hmm. Jubilee stands at the greatest risk because them they do not operate on a coalition basis. Mm -hmm. The opposition has given another direction that it will be a coalition that will zone tribal regions into tribal nomination processes. Mm -hmm. That will be easier to handle than Jubilee that has said you are either with Jubilee and it will be a six-piece suit. This might be the reason that you believe we might be wiped out mm. in the elections of 2018 by virtue that they have shepherded themselves to one boat, that if the boat sinks, they sink all of them. But God has opened that. So I do think that Jubilee must change that policy. So what are we saying? We are heading into nomination on Monday that we begin the exercise of mass voter registration. And all of these aspirants, both from the uh, COD stroke NASA camp and the Jubilee party are being asked to register as many people as possible. You've mentioned that after the nomination and some people feel that it was unfair or a hounded out, they'll be looking at other options. So a few months from now after the mass voter registration and the nomination exercise, what are some of the scenes we expect from both? sides given the events that will have uh, unfolded what is likely to happen is that uh, after the voter registration starts every every aspirant will try to register voters not for Uru Kenyatta mm -hmm. or Ilaudinga or Musalem Davadi but for himself 
or herself to win the votes. In that way, the voter, the voter turnout for the presidency might, is likely to shoot up. Remember in 2013, the, the, the term terrain of numbers and that terrain of voters on 2013 has been reflected in parliament through the passage of legislation. Each political formation is looking for the tyranny of legislative power. And that is what will determine who becomes the president. Remember, the opposition stronghold had failed to capture power, reason being that their stronghold did not register. If indeed they move out to register, and my position has always been that if the opposition named yesterday their candidate being Musalem Davadi, the voter registration in Western province could have gone times two what it is now. They failed to read the, the, the signs on the wall because they, still it's not clear who their candidate is. But also, it could also, if they named their candidate yesterday, some regions would not have the motivation to register. So in one way, it is not very clear who will succeed because every formation is keeping their cards close to All their right. chest. They are not revealing. All right, Danston, uh, let's hang on to that thought. We'll definitely be coming back to you as we continue the bulletin. But at this